Hey guys, Mike from Beer Don't Lie. Um, so today we have an update for the complete waste of a product, Go Show Mini. Um, if y'all have not been following my other videos, definitely go back and check them out to figure out what kind of horrible product this is right now. Um, to give a little bit of an update um, on the actual product, my product still does not work that well. Um, I've tried it a few more times. It just it did not work. Um, I even reached out to uh, Go Show uh, one by one to see about just giving them this back and just getting my money back because I was tired of it. And they responded. I made a laundry list of stuff and they responded. I'll probably do another video on that. Um, but they responded and asked me what was wrong with it. And so I made another laundry list of stuff like in the other email I sent to them told them what was wrong and that I considered a bait and switch and it was not the product that they were putting out there um, and granted yes I know that it was a go a GoFundMe kind of thing it was a funding campaign or a crowdfunding campaign but this product is nowhere near what they were saying they were gonna do with the money that everyone was was giving them to do with the product this is like not even close like if it had all the functions and stuff and it just didn't work but they were trying their best to put all the stuff in there that'd be one thing but this had absolutely nothing that they were advertising other than the way it looks this this looks is pretty much what the one looked like there are a few little changes um, there's a few little things on the front that wasn't on the other one um, and things like that but for the most part it looks pretty much like what you're what you we're getting but that's it um, but today they just sent an email for a new update for firmware let me um, get that pulled up um, and I'll, I'll put the firmware down below but what we're gonna do today is we're gonna update the go show see if the firmware actually does anything compared to what it was doing before um, <clears throat> and apparently some people still haven't gotten theirs which is insane to me um, but just to start off, it just says, um, second firmware upgrade. And this is, the first firmware upgrade was, um, January 29th. So it took them three months to do these few fixes on this new firmware. Um, cause today is April 30th. Um, so it says, dear backers, hello again. We've been working really hard on our second go show firmware patch and it is now ready for download and installation for your projectors. This patch provides the following updates and fixes. Easy wire for smartphones and PCs. With Easy Wire, you can connect smartphones or PCs to go show using a USB cable to mirror slash stream content from your device. Which basically, the only reason that they're doing that is because the Easy, the easy Cast did not work. That It didn't work at all. Like There were so many issues with it. And you couldn't mirror, even though the mirroring, um, USB mirroring was an option. So I guess now they finally figured out how to do it. Um, horizontal keystone correction. This provides more precise keystone correction and undistorted projection when Go Show is placed at off center horizontal angles. Um, I was having a little bit of problem with this. If it was off angle, like it would be crooked here and stuff like that. I know it's supposed to do it so visually it's supposed to fix, and it was pretty bad. Um, Sometimes I could fix it if I really shook it and got it to level out, but it wasn't it wasn't like perfect. Um, three mobile mirroring optimization improved stability for EasyCast mobile mirroring. Uh, EasyCast just sucks to begin with. I don't even know why they're using that horrible thing. Um, and then four UI upgrades. So there's now three new icons that have been added to the home screen: EasyWire, EasyWire Mobile. Mobile mirroring and easy wire PC. I, I, I bet you it still looks nothing like what they showed in the thing of what how the UI was supposed to look like. So I'm I'm probably not going to be happy about this anyways. But so and then they give the the installation instructions on how to do it and whatnot. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have that down below in the in the description and let me know what you guys have done with yours if you use it just as a doorstop or to chalk the back of your vehicle or something like that on a hill 
just just let me know what you guys have been using yours for. Um, if it works, if it doesn't work, if you've tried the firmware and if it's starting to work for you. Um, but let's uh, get with this upgrade and see if it actually works. All right, guys. So here is my go. Okay, with focus. Here's my go show. Um, I don't know if it still has a battery life. It's been sitting in the bag for pretty much two months now. Um, I've tried to use it a few more times, but it's just not. Hasn't been going. Let's just see if it still has a battery. So we'll press the on button. Oh, something happened. Okay, so right now you can see that pretty much. All right. Yeah, let's just close that door. You can come on. All right. So this is what the UI looks like right now. We have four icons with this little like flowery looking background. I don't know. So let's just see what happens when we put... Gotta do it upside down. Alright, remember you gotta have the remote because you can't do anything without the remote, so that's... So if you lost the remote, you're shit out of luck. Failed. Does not exist. Uh, what? Okay, so what this is saying, it says on your PC... Let's just make sure it's on the damn yeah. drive. So we'll put the drive back in. Alright, so it says here... So that's what it says. ACT upgrade-2.gz There it is. Dash two. So it's on the drive and it did not want to work. So we'll take that back out. Put it back in here. Alright, so I already see a problem. So they're telling you how to do it. They're telling you to download the file does not need extracting go to USB drive select firmware upgrade why is this not wanting to focus this is being ridiculous today um, okay so I already know what the problem is the problem is that it says actgrade.gz it doesn't say anything about dash 2 so that means that we gotta put this back in here again so when y'all are having to do it, take out take out the dash two. So now it's just now it's just a act upgrade. I bet you it'll work now. See? So they didn't even tell you how to upgrade it properly. They didn't give you those instructions. System will reboot and let's see what happens.
wonder why it hasn't rebooted yet. You'd think that it would have rebooted by now. So it turned off and it's not turning back on. So like the last time, you have to turn it back on yourself. Still got the windmills, so they haven't actually done some kind of thing. So we do have wait, wasn't there four before what? So it's not that we got what? So they they took rid they got rid of one of the icons to add these three new icons. So again we got the wire mobile, which I'm guessing is the wired one. So I uh, easy wire, okay. Mirror mobile and PC wire. So let's just let me go get my cable and let's just see if it actually mirrors. All right, guys. So I got my my USB cable, so we can do the USB tethering. Um, I clicked on the Easy Wire for mobile, um, and right when I did it, it wants me to download EasyCast again and connect everything. Um, I don't know why we have to use this this EasyCast also for the wiring. It, we should be able to just plug it in and it just works. Um, so I I opened up EasyCast on here. Um, it come up with the devices. Let me plug it in. See if you'll find it. So it says Project 721-41301, which is what it shows on the screen. We'll click on it, allow, always allow, and then nothing. So it closed and didn't do anything. Let's try this again. Oh, turned off. Did it work? Nope, it says it crashed. So I got the EasyCast keeps stopping, so let's close it. Completely close it. Open EasyCast. Find the device again. Nope. Keeps stopping. EasyCast. Keeps stopping. All right. So we got that closed again. Now, one of the things I noticed on here is that it has EasyCast screen right here. So when you click on it, it brings you up to a new thing. So easy cast screen. So it says it mirrors displays and streams. So we're gonna try that one. I already have it downloaded. Let's just try that since it's also an easy cast. Older version of Android, it may not work properly. Check for updates. Easy cast screen is the one I have. So this doesn't work either. So let's just get rid of those and go back to the regular one. So again, we're plugged in. 
does all the stuff. Let me show you that it has tethering on. Here. You just do a search. USB. So we have USB tethering. It was turned on. There we go. So now it's on. And we also have USB debugging on. Both of them are on. Not working. Alright, so how about we do this? How about we take the debugging off and just use so debugging is off so now let's just use just let me just make sure that it's still there um, USB USB tethering that's still on easy cast Nope, keep stopping. Let's try it again. Keep stopping. So, again, this shit does not work. I don't care what they say, what updates they're doing. This shit does not work. It says, Android devices only support plug and play when debug, debug mode is enabled. I had that enabled. Android de devices can also screen mirror with EasyCast app by enabling USB tethering. I had both of those done. Does not work. It does not work. So this update is completely useless. Completely. It does not work. It does not work. Try this one more time. Just see. Nope. Crashed again. crashed again. So again, just to show that this is not working, we're going to take off USB tethering. We're going to completely take it off. So USB tethering is off. We're going to go back to USB debugging. Turn that back on. OK. Oh, it already crashed. Didn't even let me open it. Let's do it from scratch. Nope, crashed again. So, alright. So again, it does not work at all. This update is completely useless. And if you're getting it to work, awesome. I, I, I think you guys are doing something way better, way better than I am. If you have iPhone... Let me know if this shit's working, because it's not working for me. And the whole point of this was to use my mobile, not use my PC or something like that. So I'm not even going to connect to PC, because that was not the purpose of this. The purpose of this was to use my phone, use it with all this stuff, go places and be mobile. So this does not work. This is a piece of shit. And don't ever buy it. If you see it, don't get it. If you're using yours and it's working, I give you a thumbs up. I applaud you. I, I'm jealous of you because mine does not work at all. And this firmware did not work at all. So, anyways, guys, let me know what your, what your thoughts are on this. I'll leave a comment below. And I don't know. Still disappointed. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.